Hmm. Yeah, it's possible. Uh, men representing Satan. Welcome to today's DDRX. The prescription is say a blessing. Psalm 107 verse 2. So I have in the studio another guest who is going to be asking a question. Thank you very much, sir. My question for you is, can a person be bewitched? Hmm. Yeah, it's possible. Uh, men representing Satan. Uh, we call them witch doctors. They are called by various names uh, in various nations. So they are experts at causes. Uh, we have what we call witchcraft coven. A coven is where witches gather together. The number varies, such as 13. No wonder today when you are in the elevator, public elevator, there is no 13th floor. <laughs> so a witchcraft coven can be three or two. When they gather, they release a cause or a sentence or a verdict or a judgment against a person. But the fire of God can destroy them. Uh, there's an example of a king called Bala, king of Moab. He asked Balaam, a witch doctor, to pronounce a curse on the Israelites. Now, these are specialists of curses. Uh, in Numbers 22, verse 6, Therefore, please come at once, curse these people for me, for they are too mighty for me. I want you to listen. Because they are too mighty, they didn't offend them. He said, perhaps I shall be able to defeat them and drive them out of the land. For I know that he whom you bless is blessed, and he whom you curse is cursed. People just hate you for nothing. Just because you are progressing, you know, people can hate you for nothing. So we, we need to be careful. You know, Bala, Balaam tried to do it, uh, but God, you know, turned his curses to blessing. So let's say blessing together. The angel of the Lord then camp all around those who fear him and delivers them in Psalm 34 verse 7. I will deliver you from the hand of the wicked and I will redeem you from the grief of the terrible. Jeremiah 15 21. For you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears and my feet from falling. Psalm 116 verse 8. Thank you. God bless.